again, my name's Amy and today I'm going to be showing you the Cooks and Gold Starter Soldering Kit. I'm going to show you all the bits that you get with it, it's all amazing stuff, and I'm going to show you how they work. Okay, so first of all, if you want to pick this up from Cookson's, the product code you'll need is 999096Q. Uh, right, I'll show you first of all the solder that you get with it. So you get all this solder here. There's three different strands of solder. This is your hard labelled properly there so you can see. Okay, what a lot of people do as well is they put notches in them with their saw so you can tell which it is if you don't want stickers on them. But yeah, this is what you get. You have the, so the hard one, you have the easy, and this is the medium, the thinnest one you get. You also get this amazing hand torch which is really good. I'll show you how it works. So you have to pull down the little, little stopper there at the back, pull that down and then you need to click it and then you hold in a little bit to the side there, you can see. So it's really good and you get a really powerful flame from that and you turn it off. You just press the button again. You also get, and I haven't tried this myself yet, you get liquid flux. It's really bright, it's really cool. I'm really excited to try this out because I hate grinding down my borax cone, it takes me forever, I'm such a weakling. So yeah, this is going to be really helpful for me, I think. I'm going to try it out in a little bit and I'll show you. You also get this massive tub of pickle. It's a salt pickle. I think it's one of the safety pickles, so you don't have to worry about, you know, the proper acid stuff. Yeah, you can use this. It's really good. You also get some exciting tools with them as well. So you get these reverse action tweezers. And they're the straight ones. You can also get the bent ones, but the ones that come with this set are the straight ones. See there, and they've got the wooden handle. So they're really good. You get a paintbrush to paint on your borax. Nice. You get two pairs of tweezers. So you get the brass ones and the stainless steel ones. So they're both really good for holding things. Very helpful. And you get, which I haven't tried one of these yet, I'm really excited to try it. Instead of painting on your solder, you can use this solder pick. So it's really sharp at the end and you can pick up really tiny bits of uh, solder. So yeah, we're gonna try that and I'll show you how that works as well. What you also get with the set is you get this soldering block here. So that's fireproof. And this fireproof shelf as well, which is quite big. So you can put all your little bits on there. And that's gonna be really helpful. Right then, let's do some soldering. Okay, so I've got my little setup here and I've got a little jump ring that I'm just going to solder shut. You can see that there. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to get my paintbrush. Okay, and I'm going to dip it into the liquid flux. There go, and I'm just going to paint it on just here, just on the bit where I'm going to solder. Okay, put that there. And now I've cut a little bit of the solder off. The best thing to do when you get this solder is to actually roll it down so it's thinner and it lasts you longer as well. Okay, so I've just got my little bit of solder here. I'm just going to pop it on here. There we go. Move it along. Right then. So the little bit of solder's on there now. I'm now going to use my new torch. Okay, turn it on. Move that out. I'm going to heat it up, see if the borax flies up. Oh, and there it goes. Lovely, that's nice and soldered now gonna quench it and show you. You can now see that's just soldered there. So that went really well. So with your safety pickle you get your, this big white tub here and if you want to use it in your slow cooker or something you need one litre of water, warm water, and 50 grams of this pickle. It does say on the label here if you forget so that's always good. This is really really good. Um, the best temperature for this to be at is 30 to 80 degrees but not above 80 because then I don't think it works that well. So that's the easy 
difficult. Okay, so now I'm gonna go and roll these down. Thank you for watching, I hope this is helpful. Uh, I hope you're gonna go and pick up the soldering kit from Cooks and Gold Trade Counter, or you can get it from cooksandgold.com as well. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.